And now the city is threatening to shut down some newsstands that have been around for years. Nina Pineda has more. You're never too far away from a newsstand in New York City. The one-stop spots for anything from gum to gossip offers instant gratification for impatient, on-the-go New Yorkers. I think it's part of what the city culture is all about. The mom-and-pop stands once numbered 1,500, but over the years have dwindled down to just 300, and now may shrink even further as the new Commissioner for Consumer Affairs cracks down on safety regulations. The newsstands um, force people to walk into the gutters, force people to get squeezed into, into the gutter where ongoing, oncoming traffic is, and um, people get hurt. And even if they haven't been hurt now, it's an accident waiting to happen. The commissioner sent letters out to 15 newsstands. Indu Desai got one stating his newsstand in front of Tower Records at 66 and Broadway was too close to the fire hydrant. He claims it's his turf anyway. The hydrant's the new kid on the block. I don't have to move because I'm here since 20 years and the uh, fire hydrant just came uh, three, three years ago. How could you possibly find the newsstand legally culpable for not making a clearance that a different city agency is responsible for having uh, installed in the first place? Bookman says it's ludicrous to penalize newsstand owners and against the laws on the books which protect the stands through a grandfather clause. The law does not give them the authority to say you're out of business. That's not an option available to the city. The city claims public safety overrules. And depending on who wins, your neighborhood newsstand could wind up vanishing by June, leaving the sidewalk remarkably obstruction-free. On the Upper West Side, Nina Pineda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Well, the big game jackpot is...